Do I really have to start a morning with a despair chapter that gives me no hope of the better? Well, it was two chapters in a row. The fairy tale chapter 455. In case anybody watched or follows me, last week I could not review fairy tale chapter. It was for two reasons. First of all, I, d I thought it was too despair. But more importantly, I was so busy the entire day, so I couldn't review it. Because I'm a guy who reviews as quickly as possible, because there are way better reviewers than me. I cannot spend on quality, only on information. So with that it said, it's, uh, it's the chapter beginning with Ersa fighting Agil. And the fight uh, seems to be even. Up until uh, Agil traps her in a way of sand where she can't change her armor. Which is going to turn her into sand. Ajil's troops land on the ground. And they are just as arrogant as he is. Because one guy says we shouldn't waste the resources like this. But orders are orders. And just like the mooks from Brandish army. Uh, these guys seem to be strong. Occupying team dragon slayer with their job. And uh, what's worse is uh, someone begins to nullify... Jutsu, the Freed's Jutsu, revealing that uh, Mayuru, the, the guy with the pig head and the spiked hair, apparently has some nullification magic, getting a hole into that. Elsewhere, as troops comes around from anywhere, Brandish had somehow entered Lucius' apartment and, it, and is in her bath. I guess Majin must have helped her teleport her into this saying she don't know why you left a, quite a deep impression. Uh, well, I have to admit, though, that was a little bit funny. Mostly because it's no stranger to people entering Lucy's room. This is actually the first time an enemy has entered her house. And now that enemy is the lazy, lazy but dangerous Brandish, who is having a bath. Huh. She can attack Lucy naked. <laughs> Well, that's not important. What is important is that all the other ships come over here. This reveals that it was not Agile who just said, Hey, screw it, I'm enough to handle this. No, they're coming from every single side. Therefore, putting Fairtail at a huge disadvantage. As everyone begins to sweat, Warod begins to cry, and Mavis clenching her teeth, it seems Fairtail is doomed. Yep, that's basically this chapter. And as I said, I there was a, some part of it I, I didn't like. The only thing I liked was Brandish entering uh, uh, entering the scene in uh, Lucy's house. I mean, uh, Ersa is Ersa, but are you telling me she will lose against Ajia? I, I won't accept that. I won't! Accept that. And now to the fact that everyone is heading towards Fairytale, yeah, they, they have no chance of winning this. I hate this despair. I hate this kind of despair in a fairy tale chapter. Because, uh, mostly because everybody knows what they're going to do to save it. And people are not gonna stop complaining until that has happened. I mean, they're gonna say, oh, it's... Uh, the power of feeling won again, and I'm gonna say, oh, screw you. At least they won. But... Or are Crime Secor going to uh, enter the scene now? Whatever it happens, next week's chapter is called Order. Is that order for Albareth? Is that order too fair to tell what to do? Or is there order because there's going to be order in this chaos? Whatever it is, I think it's despair. So give me your thoughts if you have any.